Assalamu alaikum uh, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your last sessions of uh, uh, small and medium enterprises. Uh, I think uh, some of uh, there is some uh, misconception between students that why I'm uh, like uh, posting entrepreneurship video in SME. The thing is in your syllabus, in your course structure, you need to understand these issues as well. But it, it's related to your sixth semester as well. So you need to understand uh, entrepreneurship. You need to understand uh, who are entrepreneurs, uh, successful entrepreneurs, which sector to choose, uh, types of businesses. You need to understand uh, uh, different types of uh, owners. Uh, sorry, businesses. Uh, the next uh, topic: when to start, where to start. These are are very important for your uh, syllabus as well so it's related to your course and your subject as well so don't be confused that why it belongs to entrepreneurship I'm sure in ne next semester semester 6 I will be teaching you inshallah uh, entrepreneurship as well so it will be same there might be some changes so now for your next week class which is i think seventh week uh the there is uh, you need to understand the seven sources of innovation now before starting sources of innovation let's come to what is innovation innovation is uh, something you are doing something differently it's a new idea you are coming with something different compared to others let's say people used to technology we can see many many innovations in technology fingerprint face recognition touch screen uh, whatever in many other uh, fingerprints uh, attendance these are all innovations in technology new innovations new technologies are coming to the market so this is innovation in business if you don't have innovation if you're not coming with something new what will happen your competitor will get the business they will take over your com customers your customer will feel bored they will not buy your product because you are always offering the same product let's say i'm sure you have uh, uh, known sony ericsson is a phone company where is that sony ericsson they couldn't compete in the market they, they couldn't come w uh, come up with something new they couldn't uh, have any uh, let's say they couldn't meet the needs and wants of their customer they were always producing same type of phone samsung iphone other phones has uh, come up with the new ideas with the new phone new technology new facilities new features everything so what happened they stayed in the market sony ericsson gone uh, another example can be uh, there is a film a photo you know kodak was a company Fuji films you used to uh, if you remember the camera used to get films and you get pictures now they couldn't compete in the market what happened the types of business has changed customer perception has changed so new types of cameras has reached memory chips and all these things they, they couldn't compete in the market they gone bust Sa same type of DVDs uh, uh, we can uh, use cassettes of uh, music or whatever now no one use that everyone use uh, chips or use uh, Bluetooth or use iTunes or whatever types of uh, technology they are using so this is uh, types of innovation you need uh, in the business when you are biz doing a business in order to uh, satisfy the needs and wants of your customers uh, it's very very important so you can uh, achieve you can uh, satisfy their needs and wants by providing new types of product changing your product let's compare iphone 11 pro with maybe iphone first iphone there are very very big difference between these two phones in each phone iphone company apple company are coming with something new in one phone fingerprint next phone face recognition next phone new features high resolution camera quality screen uh, glass or whatever features they are coming with something new so that's very very important in business so you must have uh, new ideas to bring to your business new as uh, if you're providing service new type of service let's say example can be taxi company now we now still we have in afghanistan i think a fast taxi or uber and uh, in globally you have uber company which is come with a new idea facebook new idea snapchat tiktok new idea 
is an innovation in a technology in a social media these are types that you see viber now most of people don't use viber snapchat gone so now most important is uh, tiktok i think same thing in games you see nowadays guys are playing is pubg or whatever game they are playing so these are types of innovations that people came up with uh, new ideas new ways of doing business so peter drucker f drucker he's a professor uh, uh, he has written uh, these seven sources of innovations so we'll go through each of them we'll try to explain as much as we can this guy is known as inventor of modern management he left us with the valuable resources on leadership management business innovation and entrepreneurship these are his main sectors of uh, business um, he his uh, work has been extraordinary in business he has a uh, lasting legacy as a guidance and inspiration to business leader and entrepreneurs so i don't think so i need to explain this uh, what he done in his famous book innovation entrepreneurship he talk about the power and necessity of systematic innovation which can be inspired by the following seven sources so what he done he decided that innovation inter in his book into innovation entrepreneurship he divided all these sources of innovative opportunity idea into seven parts so he say why people need new idea these are seven sources that will help an individual a businessman to have new idea innovative idea new opportunity so that's that's very very important so as i explained there are certain circumstances which you need to come up uh, with a new idea it push you like to bring a new idea it push you to start a business we said one is push factor in a business one is pull factor uh, push factors are like a country let's say pushing you to leave that country high tax high labor wage everything it it pu this are pushing you to leave that country and start your business some t somewhere else uh, as we discuss pull factor let's say bangladesh in these countries nowadays their gdps are uh, increasing in asia especially they are attracting foreign investment the reason is they have facilities everything they are pulling like uh, businessmen investors from other country to invest in bangladesh why they give good facilities incenti incentives many other facilities uh, in order to start that business so let's say the seven uh, discuss the seven sources of entrepreneurship the first uh, sorry seven sources of innovation the first is the unexpected so as we know that business world is full of surprise sometime you fail you don't know why how why you failed sometime you you are successful you don't know you know there is expected and unexpected we have a unexpected success and we have unexpected failure as well so there is in changes let's say uh, uh, me explain this with a example unexpected failure we saw COVID-19. No one has expected the businessman. Let's say you had a restaurant, you had a uh, airline industry. You did, you couldn't expect this to affect your business. This is a failure. Is unexpected. Unexpected su success. Let's say Amazon, which is an online trading company, because of this COVID-19 coronavirus, online business has increased. Amazon owner I think became the first richest person because everyone was at home they couldn't go to the shops they order online even in Afghanistan online business online learning if there was no COVID-19 I'm sure we couldn't we, we wouldn't even notice to teach online so this was something unexpected this is a uh, unexpected uh, condition so now you studying online that's have you ever expected that one day universities will be closed and no one will go university the teacher lecturer will sh will teach you from his school no yeah we had online businesses online schools online colleges online degrees but that was not acceptable to the ministry of higher education now unexpected situation can be extremely powerful in the business world as a they inspire the leader and innovator to get another perspective on the situation no matter if it's positive or negative and to take advantage of opportunity that emerge 
so sometimes you see unexpected things as an innovation let's say you had a restaurant COVID-19 came and the government say you can't open your restaurant what do you think oh let me have a online service so it's innovation is a new type of business what do you do okay let's start online delivery now you are delivering food to the customers in different house you had a shop supermarket you couldn't the shops were closed and you thought okay let's do online let's send the books you have a bookstore let's say a supermarket whatever now you can send uh, phones or whatever online you can use online business so this is something you are coming with it pushing you to a new idea doing new things so same thing happened in offline universities once the university has been closed shut down by because of this virus in most of the country they said okay let's start online uh, classes now you have online classes as well so this is something uh, innovative for universities for staff training lecturers uh, and students as well so this is uh, unexpected the next source incongru incongruities let's say sorry what do you mean by this many companies fall into the trap of developing their product without to actually do appropriate research yani qismi as ke shuma yak tahqiq sahi na mekunin wa na sazgar amray market pesh mevrin yani nakam meshin bidun az ek yak product ta shuma jur kunin bidun az tahqiq bidun az customer satisfaction bidun az ke shuma bufamin chi mekunin چی را باید تولید کنین و کی باید پیش ببرین کس تارگیت تان کی است همی شما را مجبور میکنه که یک, یک دستاورد نو داشته باشین فکر تان تغییر بتین یا پروڈکت تان تغییر بتین سو دا ریزن نو let's say they can lead a powerful downfall but can also great source of inspiration for innovation the customer review feedback complaints are often best way to determine incongruity now customers in other countries they have review in facebook you can see review restaurants has their own review if you are traveling let's say in uk from one uh, province to let's say from one part to another state or another province you are searching for restaurants uh, what you do so if you are searching for a good restaurant what you do you put in google and search uh, near let's say halal restaurant you see the reviews of customers so customer review and feedback gives you a best way let's say you give me uh, your product as a customer i complain to you your product is not good your quality is not good your test is not good what will happen as a businessman you must write as a businessman or a business female or woman you must write all these points reviews in feedbacks of your customer okay they don't like the quality they don't like the taste they don't like the package they don't like the branding they don't like this so what will happen it will enable you to come up with something new you will have a good quality it will come up with something new product so it will be automatically help you to be an innovative be and uh, in, in like come up with a new idea for your business so same thing happened with the restaurants in other countries restaurants used to just serve customers in their own restaurants later on customers complain okay you can do delivery they come up with a new idea home delivery now we saw in afghanistan we we didn't had a home delivery pizza or restaurant or whatever now most of the uh, restaurants come up with the idea of F delivery uh, delivering your food now we have maybe phones they can be delivered at home books food uh, whatever so this is type of new business customers give you idea you had a restaurant and they uh, give you oh you can't send us food to our home so you come up with something new so this is another source of innovation in congruities is uh, another source of innovation next one process need now peter drecker suggests that there he says that innovation he says to be more task focused rather than situation focused what we mean there are certain ways of process in the business let's say you want to ha you have a water company for example bottling mineral water 
there is a process involved mineral water is coming filter the you add uh, whatever magnesium calcium or whatever then the bottling then the design then the packing then the mm, all these are process so for innovations come after looking closely at the process of the company and define clearly the weak spot in the ways that they can be improved so you see that there are certain process which you need to improve it we can see the a uh, good example can be automobile industry let's say cars before re- people used to work and put uh, let's say glasses and doors machine now uh, technology is working robots are making uh, cars they are putting uh, automated machines are putting mesh uh, uh, brakes they are putting uh, seats they are putting cover glass color they are all done by automated machines robots in this so is a type of innovation so when they decide that, okay this is a weak part this process need to be improved so knowing that weak lines are all after a detailed evaluation of company's capability the team will be able to create more effective and innovations innovative solution so this is another uh, innovative solution now we have uh, let's say a good example in afghanistan can be passport before it took uh, like uh, when i was getting passport to travel to uk and study there i think it took me two months or one month to run from one office to another office from this office clear there do your uh, id tasker and, and now you can get a passport in few days why they come up with the process has been changed has been innovated with a new technology now we have uh, electronic uh, id cards the process has been improved they come up with a new technology use of new technology e government government sorry so e government is uh, electronic government is same type of business so that's a process so once you decide in your business that this process need to be improved and come up with something new so this is a, a innovation so it's an innovation in passport sector in id card maybe nowadays you will have a electronic license you will have a electronic uh, car documents maybe house later on maybe banks process we can see banking sector atm automated machines in uh, deposit machines you you see innovation in technology we have phones smartphones uh, internet from 2000 let's compare 20 years in afghanistan how much process has been changed so the same thing happened in the peter drucker suggested the next the third source is process can be help you to be innovative next one industry and market structure change now what do you mean by this structure can be stable for year yet with the technology development many industries are disturbed almost overnight the leaders need to keep an eye on these changes and to treat these changes not as a threat but like more opportunity so as a businessman or business woman you need to see the market you need to see the trends in the market you see the opportunities new technologies if you couldn't compete what will happen you will lose your customer as a small medium business we, we have said so you don't need to think the new technology as a threat you need to think about opportunity if a new technology a type of technology came so you need to use it for your business from positive perspective so now maybe later on the ministry of higher education say you can have a uh, online degrees many of people will start to have a uh, uh, use this as opportunity in study online from other countries or maybe there will be online business schools or whatever so this is a technology now in your class you see lcds powerpoints uh, uh, all these things are new technologies so the university should not think as a threat you should think as opportunity okay let's have a powerpoint let's have a lcd let's have a projector in order to meet the needs and wants of our students in our class in our university all the classes were recorded in the with camera at night we had our own portal we used to go to the portal and if you couldn't understand the lecture we were watching that video to understand again so it was type of technology we might have after a few years might be in afghanistan all the classes will be recorded uh, video and you will have the same class in your portal in university you will have e library electronic library many other facilities so universities will not sh- should think of opportunity 
use this technology in order to serve the needs and wants of their students. So this is another uh, industry and market structure we have said and there are many industries, automobile industry, telecom industry, internet speed, 4G has come, maybe later on 5G internet will come. So what will happen? Roshan, MT and Etasalad will not think that this is a threat. They will think as an opportunity. Okay, let's uh, have a 5G network in Afghanistan. MTN will try to have wi Afghan uh, wireless company of one BC will uh, want to have it the salad will have same thing HD quality of TVs so they, they think as an opportunity in order to meet the needs and wants of their customer most TVs has decided to be HD so this is another uh, thing as an industry whatever industry you are if you are in an educational sector if you are in manufacturing sector if you are in service sector whatever sector of business you are doing you must have the knowledge of that sector what new technology has achieved came in that new sector so this is very important to have the knowledge of business sectors as well so now the next one demographics uh, i think you have studied STP strategy, segmentation, targeting, and posi positioning. This is you might have studied in marketing, I'm sure. So demographic. Demographic is a uh, change affect the market as they determine demand for product. Who is buying this product and what quantities of product are bought? The demographic changes in age, education, employment affect the direction that the business takes and can open new horizon to the company if it's managed to appro appropriately identify the opportunity. It's very simple. Because of age group, education, employment, let's say, in a country where there's unemployment is more, you know, people don't have jobs, so it will affect on your business as well, especially in Afghanistan. Now we have more people are jobless. What will happen? They won't buy uh, expensive product or goods or whatever. So it will affect your business employment if they have all afghans are employed they have good salary so what will happen they will spend more money let's compare europe the, we have three types of country first wo country first type let's say develop under develop uh, develop uh, developing and underdeveloped so in developed world people are buying good type of shoes they buy good cars they drive zero mileage car they have new phones new technology standard of living is very 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 high compared to developing countries then after developing it's underdeveloped third world countries which everything is mess opportunities risk uh, war uh, unemployment poverty all these things affect your business so age group education as we say population is another part india second most populated world is a type of business you can have you can target different age group you can target different types of individuals so that's another uh, opportunity age groups education and there are many other opportunity which you will get more population you will have more demands for your product so demographic is another source of innovation it helps you to come up with something new let's say use of smartphone now because of education the new generation can use a smartphone but la a few years back we did you couldn't have uh, that phones because of innovation demographic changes uh, opportunities people education level has changed uh, so they are using the same thing let's say compare education 10 15 years before they were no, they were, were they, uh, there were very very few Afghan lecturer now in most of the universities you have Afghan lecturer because of education level they went to another country studied bachelor master in UK in Europe Asia they came back to their country and are serving their own people so this is a type of education now the next one is changes in perceptions so as a time change the perceptions of customers are changing in the world as well because of new technology because of new uh, idea people are thinking their perceptions of product has been changed let's say perception change over time and nowadays due to involvement of technology in the power of social network these changes happen faster than ever people can change their perception about certain product brand or industry overnight what do you mean 
by perceptions tonight you li- love uh, samsung after that you saw a new product of apple iphone you change your perception you say no i don't like samsung anymore i want i will have budget i will go for iphone or uh, apple products so same thing happen overnight you change your idea to, you go to a restaurant you saw the marketing in a, in facebook or you change okay i don't want to go to this restaurant i need to go to this restaurant because i saw their advertisement and all these things so is a road for a business to innovate to develop new product and service that align with the new perception of the customer so if you saw the you need to as a businessman or businesswoman you need to understand the perceptions of your customers what they want from your company which type of product product they want why they are not happy with your previous product what changes they want so every time let's say you have a restaurant every time the customer come and complain regarding the quality of food you don't care what will happen you lose customers they won't come to your business your behavior of your staff is not good they won't come they will go to somewhere else in some other restaurant day by day you will lose your customers so changes in perceptions is uh, another source of uh, innovation the next one is new knowledge new knowledge as we can see that can be overlooked by business company that refuse to adapt to the changes inspired by new discoveries are doomed to fail so if you are not having the new knowledge of the industry you are working what will happen you fail new knowledge however can be applied in every aspect of the company from learning more about customer through analytic through improving supply chain to hiring the best employees it's very very simple new knowledge regarding attraction of your employees new knowledge regarding technology new knowledge regarding income tax government rule you as a businessman businesswoman you must you need to be updated regarding your knowledge of your customers let's say you used to advertise in newspaper now no one is reading newspaper so if you are not aware about new knowledge that people are more uh, companies are more advertising in social media facebook twitter instagram tiktok and now you already are advertising on newspaper which no one is reading so what will happen you fail you spend your you are wasting your money because you are advertising in a agency or in a company that no one are reading so the perception of customer has changed now you must change your marketing strategy so you need to come and do your mark change your marketing plan new knowledge new products let's say uh, you are studying in university that they don't have whiteboard they don't have lcd they don't have projector they are re- teaching in a blackboard so what will happen student will get bored this is 21st century and you are still using blackboard how can we they don't have chairs you need to s- sit in the floor will you do, will you go to that university no what will university do okay in any education level what has been changed new technology projector yes we need to have a projector for our student lcd yes we need to have lcd for our students i think there might be universities coming with a fingerprint uh, automated uh, attendance the university will change perception of customers will change so we have that uh, fingerprint attendance in most of the government offices so these are new knowledge you need to have regarding your business you need to have a new knowledge regarding your business sector you need to have a new knowledge regarding income tax so let's say we didn't had income tax we couldn't pay uh, tax on salary now you need to pay tax on your salary so if you're not aware of this in your company is not paying income tax employees tax government tax what will happen after few years government will ask will find in punishment why you didn't pay your tax let's compare globally you must have a new knowledge let's say there is a sanctions there is crackdown on s- restaurant all restaurant need to be closed and you're not aware of the knowledge you open your restaurant they find so this will happen help you to be very very innovative new knowledge will help you to come up with something new so we have studied let me uh, review all of them we have uh, discussed uh, seven sources of new innovation by peter drucker the first one is the unexpected the next one is uh, 
incongruity is the next one let's say process need which you need to change you check your process every time industrial market structure change you need to see the market in in the type demographic is another age education location demographic geographic location all of them uh, which you need to have a knowledge then you have change in perception of your customers once their perception has changed what you need to do is you need to update them you need to need satisfy the needs and wants of your customer next one is sorry new knowledge that's the last so what will happen you must have the new knowledge of your sector in your business as well so i hope you enjoyed the seven sources this is very very important from your exam perspective as well if you have online classes i might review all the lectures from first to end in your class in one two classes so we'll review all these lectures if we have on offline class in this semester so please uh, i request all of you to study hard to write down your notes to prepare yourself for exam so uh, we have tried our best to teach you as much as we can so I don't want any excuse that okay sir online I couldn't have internet and all these excuses so you need to be prepared for exam maybe after eat they announce that the universities are start we maybe we might have just one month to finish the whole semester and get exam final exam in all these things assignments so it's very very important so you can read your uh, listen to your lectures write down notes uh, if you don't have if you have any any question you are most welcome to ask uh, that's it uh, i hope you are having a great time wish you all the best thank you very much